point I'm going to go get some lunch at some place called what is it called again? Juma Coffee. Juma Coffee and then afterwards um today's kind of an active rest day so I'm gonna do some pop pop afterwards. Okay, film camera to take a photo of me filming. So we had to prolong for an hour from 5 until 6 from the papa till now. So we took an incredibly long walk from the papa to where we parked. And then also we had to, like, we just took a bunch of photos along the way and stuff. But now we're finally going to leave watching the sunset behind us. So, yeah. So I've just gone back from Sea Point. I was there from like 1.30 p.m. until now, 6. So it was really fun. I enjoyed myself. I did like an hour walk from where I parked, parked to Pat Pat and then from Pat and then Pat Pat was like an hour long. And then we walked all the way from the Pat Pat to my car, which was another hour. So for like three hours straight, uh, we were doing like physical activity in a way, like we were walking or we were playing Pat Pat. So, um, that's kind of what an active rest day is for me, is that I still, like for example, another active rest day example could be me just taking my dog on a walk or I do something, you know, but it isn't hectic and it doesn't hurt my body. So this is my kind of aim for the future of the series when it comes to exercise, is that I have four days that is actually working out, going to the gym, and then one day that is a complete rest day. Uh, so I don't expect anything out of myself unless I want to do it and then one day that is an active rest day And so today for me was an active rest day because I was from the moment, you know, I got there I was doing something right Good morning, so it is Saturday and I'm back down to the lowest I've been since I started this journey So I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm just gonna have breakfast and then I'm gonna head to the gym I've just parked now in the gym's parking and I can't be here for an hour. I'm gonna work out for either half an hour or 45 minutes because I only have like an hour of free parking. So kind of don't wanna go over that to then have to pay for parking. So yeah, I'll see you inside.
workout is complete. I basically just did strength because it was load shedding, so there was no opportunity for me to do cardio. I think I did half an hour of strength. So yeah, time for sushi. I've just arrived at the gym and I'm gonna go swell and I'm really nervous because it's so cold and I don't know, I really hope it's a little heated. The goods have been collected. Oh yeah, <laughs> I really did get a lot of things on my face. College has just ended now and it was really fun in the sense of I'm really proud of my artworks and my drawings so in that sense I'm happy with how things turned out. I don't think I'm gonna do much more for the rest of today but we shall see. If not then I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> So today is Wednesday and I'm doing mixed media today and mixed media is basically a subject where we get to do sculptures out of any material that is needed. So today we're doing cardboard which eventually I believe at the end of the week we're going to use aluminium. So excited to use aluminium for the very first time. originally going to the gym but just some things came up so I wasn't able to but I do have my own weights here it's two kgs as you saw a bit earlier in this video I went to one kgs at the gym so we're gonna move up to two kgs today so I'm gonna do the exact same arm workout I did um on I believe Monday today being Wednesday it's just not gonna be a high weight so yeah, you know, moving our way up in the weight world. I should mention what it is, the arm workout that I'm doing. So it's 25 bicep, I'm gonna do it without the weights. Bicep curl, lift up, reach over, fly away, and then on the ground, this thing. So 25 of those each. Last time I did it with one kg, this time I'm doing it with two.
I'm really nervous and scared for something that I decided to do like around a month ago and that is that I'm gonna get my second lobe piercing and I don't know how I really feel about it to be honest I'm like excited because it's something I've been wanting for around a year and a half I actually got my first lobe piercing in 2021 around there and because I was you know most people get it when they were a baby but I only got mine at, in 2021 and I actually thought for an entire year and a half do I want a second lobe piercing? Because I've always seen people second lobe piercings, third lobe piercings, and I've been like, that is so beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous. So I didn't, you know, I, I actually thought to myself, do I want it for an entire year and a half? I said, do I want a second lobe piercing? And the answer was always yes. And so now I'm finally gonna do it, and I'm really happy about it. Um, a lot, I'm very nervous too, and very scared as well. And so my best friend's gonna accompany me so that I'm not, um, you know, I have someone there, you know, and like if I faint, I got someone there with me. So that is what's happening in that regard. And now I'm here to show you what my piercings look like. So on this side, I have the opal and I have the white trinity. And then on this side, I have the exact same. And I really like it. I think it just adds what's there. I wanted to find that middle ground where it was pretty enough for when I'm extravagant but it's also pretty enough for when I'm bare. You know what I mean? So that was kind of the thinking so I went with the, the white in the end because I was considering like I said earlier the pink and the blue one. The pink one that they reserved for me was one size too small so I thought I don't really want that one. You can't really see the details. It more look like a circle from afar than it does like as you can see it's a, like it's a trinity shape right so it's like a triangle so i'm like oh you can't really see that with them being too small and then when it came to the blue one it looked beautiful in my eyes like i thought it would however when you looked at my ear it seemed out of place with the, the opal in my opinion so i was like okay let me go with the white let me just go simple these are expensive earrings um so i want these to suit every outfit that i could ever possibly wear so yeah, I'm really happy with how my piercings ended up. I even asked the piercing guy and I was like, okay, if I was to come here again for another piercing, like on my ears, which one would you recommend? Like which ones would suit my ears? And he said the conch and the date. So I think I'm gonna go, I can't remember which one it is, but the one that chills in here, I think that's the conch I'm gonna go for. And then if I want to at a later stage, then go for the date on the different ear. Um, but I'm going to think about it for a year because again getting a piercing and then the actual earring is quite expensive and I don't want to just you know I want to think about it like go for it and if I do get it I think I'm gonna go for the opal again so that it's you know it matches all together I'm gonna put a photo here of the one that is really close up on the ear and how pretty it is um, and yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out <laughs> <laughs> 